and it where is that? How do you wear that company is going to be looking to buy, you know, a Bitcoin for 1,000 euros a day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 but wait, no, no, but with a different model, of course. No, no, with a, no, no, you're right, you're right. No, no, of course, of course, but with a totally different model, I would say, yes. So we, we then we are gonna basically just being uh, consulting, you know, we're just gonna consult them, you know. Of course, with, it's not gonna be BitKeep, it's a totally different story. Yeah, okay. it's almost a separate project. Since the app is so new, what's the response been like from, from your users? Uh, uh, we love it. I mean, uh, we are very satisfied. It has been a lot of uh, uh, hard work, really a lot. Like we spent a uh, uh, lot of time, as I said, perfecting the solution. But so far, the, the impact has been pretty good. But you also got to tell me if it's good or not. Uh, the KPIs are, uh, today we have around, uh, I think, something like uh, 500 uh, active users, which is, which is really good. Uh, and also, I mean, what we like the most uh, is the fact that we have... Uh, an active community um, uh, that everyone can join. Uh, but also, I mean, I would say when we have likes in the stores, you know, in the Play Store, and these are genuine likes with comments uh, from the user, like that's a really good service. And there's honestly nothing uh, that repays you, <laughs> that repays you more uh, of these genuine comments. But I mean, I know that. Uh, Quantitative, uh, quantitative wise, uh, this is not the same thing as having I don't know one million users, but still a genuine comment on the stores is something we we love. Yes. So yeah, so far the feedback is is positive in the user community. We have a lot of questions around UK. We have a lot of questions as I, uh, around KYC. So even more, uh, going beyond the, the thresholds, as all, basically some of the questions that you have asked are the same of our users. And uh, again, as far as I'm going to be there, the roadmap of our product is going to be influenced by our users. So probably we are going to we are going to we are going to be working on on those things in the future. You, I, I think you put, when you also consider that it solves you know, very unique you know, problem, and I think that with unique Solving solving unique problem comes its own unique, you know, challenge. So, what are the challenges that you, you, know, you face in the in the you know in the mission? In the mission, it was uh, the it was. Uh... I mean, we had a uh, few times we thought we were not gonna make it. I mean, dur during the during the mission, it's been it's been crazy. First of all, in order to be you know a legal entity, in order to be incorporated as a company, you need to have support of uh, local authorities. You need to have support of uh, of some uh, financial institutions. So that is one, I would say, if not the obstacle uh, in the creation of uh, of such a project, because you need to spend a lot of time explaining details in very details what you're doing uh, you know so that's a big challenge it took us almost uh, the same amount of time to build the entire product from a from a from a technical standpoint let's say then to uh, be authorized to uh, you know uh, put it out there let's say so it's uh, it's a very uh, complex procedure one second challenge of course there's been a lot of focus for us on the on the usability of the application. So of course, at the beginning, we didn't have any uh, um, any user, you know, to ask to. We only had uh, my feeling and the feeling of the co-founder, Alessandro. So we thought, okay, what are we gonna do? Uh, uh, are we optimizing in the right direction? Are we going in the right direction? It's been very difficult to work a little bit, let's say in a box like that. And that's when we have, uh, Alessandro decided, okay, let's open a beta, uh, chat beta group on telegram and we and and the, and the beta users have been have been great i mean uh, i love them all and they have uh, they helped us a lot shaping the product so that's why we believe a lot on you know making sure you know uh, that we keep the user at the center of what we do so that's a little bit the challenges so i would say to recap uh, regulation, uh, being able to put in place uh, something, you know, official, uh, the technical development, uh, the usability of the solution, and then, yeah, simply the effort, yes, the effort that it take. Is this um, still a side gig for you guys, or is it becoming or become the, the full-time? Uh, that's another very interesting uh, question. So uh, I wouldn't even define it as a, a side gig. Today, we are 
almost uh, not able to generate uh, a decent uh, uh, inflow of, uh, of to you know to to be able to sustain uh, even the investment because we are still in that phase that's uh, that's that's kind of normal uh, but uh, but for sure uh, tomorrow if the company develops then uh, we are ready to, to you know to 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 do even more that that's not a problem but of course i have to be honest with you we are uh, clearly observing still we are in an observing phase we need to see how the the user adoption uh, goes from now until uh, i would say end of this year at the end of this year i think we're going to say okay uh, do we need an external investor uh, or maybe earlier if the opportunity presents so how can we scale up in order for this to become our you know our um, our our day to day yeah. our everything <laughs> Gotcha. No, cheers. I am. Um, I. I'm. I think I've got complete. Answer. I think I've. We've grilled you pretty, pretty good. But um, have you guys got any other questions you want to ask? Because I'm. I'm. I'm out now. Like I've pretty much just <laughs> attacked. Uh, yeah. This isn't actually related to Bitkippy, but um, what's your opinion on the recent controversy with Wasabi Wallet uh, being forced to kind of take a more serious effort towards compliance? Um, employ like chain analysis and possibly blacklist certain wallets from participating yeah i heard about it i mean uh, um to be honest uh, do i do i have a, a a strong opinion on that uh i don't know it's it's on a way uh, in a way uh, ah alessandro is here alessandro can you hear hello us? guys hello uh welcome just the... gate, gate crashing <laughs> Hey, you know, you know what's gonna happen now, Alessandro. You're gonna reply to this. You're gonna reply to the last question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice to meet you, Alessandro. Um, nice the to question meet you too. I just asked Enrico. Uh, it doesn't really have to do with Bitkeepy, but I'm curious because you guys are kind of in an area where um, regulations don't really affect Bitkeepy. And Wasabi Wallet was in a similar position, and they recently had a controversy with the. Um, Dow hacker article that Laura Shin wrote, and now they're being uh, more serious about compliance, and they're going to employ chain analysis and possibly blacklist participants for coin joins. And I was just wondering if you guys had any opinion on that. Yeah, so I think this doesn't really affect us because basically we are not like a, a financial institution, like a regulated financial institution, so we don't have to comply to these kind of, of things. Our broker probably does but i don't think uh, they, they got any pressure in that direction for the moment because i think wasabi is kind of a different thing so basically they probably got some pressure because of the you know the anti-money laundering thing so you know like uh, mm -hmm. coin joining is supposedly seen by probably governments and regulators as a, like a way to launder money and uh, but I, I don't think this does affect like uh, the normal exchange uh, fiat to bitcoin but it's true Another that those controversies are like uh are the bread and butter of uh, of the industry as well. So, uh, you know, you never know what's behind the corner. At the same time, I think that uh, more broadly, I think more broadly that, uh, uh, you know, those kind of problems are always gonna be there as long as uh, the technology is not so widely adopted uh, to to basically uh, you know get, get over this type of uh, of discussions and it is exactly the spirit of VTP is to make the technology uh, wi wi very widely adopted. Yeah. Alessandro, uh, sorry. Um, before you came, I did ask um, Enrico if he supports free market and basically he you know that was I, up I for did. debate. <laughs> so I'm going to throw the same question to you. And that was, you know, do you support you know free markets? And before you answer that, I'll ask a follow up question. And assuming if you do support free market, which I think you do, you know, considering you know the whole nature of your product, you know, um, do you think that because Enrico said that as long as he is in the company, that uh, we keep the world Bitcoin only. Um, assuming that, um, so I'm going through the question to you. you know, customers come demand say, hey, we want to buy Ethereum, we want to you know dabble into NFTs, give us Ethereum to you know DCA. Would you let them have it? Because considering that it's their choice. And do you share the same sentiment with um, Enrico, which is that as long as you know you, you you guys are not going to support you know any other you know asset, 
Yeah, so I mean, so basically, we, we are like a Bitcoin only company, and uh, I, 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 I've been into Bitcoin for several years now, and I, I don't really think there is like value in other things. So I don't really care about the rest, and we don't want to focus on the rest. Also, because I think it's quite misleading for people, you know, like uh, I remember my dad, I mean, he was getting into Bitcoin at some point, and he was confused by all the other coins. What is this Ethereum? What is this? What is that? And then it's really, really hard for, you know, for newbies to, to kind of, get their head around uh, this mm. crypto thing. So I try to you know, always pass, pass on the message that it's not crypto, it's Bitcoin. So all the rest, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's, that's my, my that's So my we opinion. are aligned. <laughs> but the question is smart because it's very smart because in a way you could see uh, the market of crypto as a, as a free market that you could say, okay, there is supply and demand and uh, why should we? In fact, we are not attention. We are not uh, blocking people from buying other cryptocurrency, just not on our platform. You know. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, so for me, uh, it's uh, that's the be- that's probably the best answer. Um, I had a question for you both. Uh, what are your roles? I know it's just the two of you, but Alessandro, your role is what at BKP, and Enrico, what is your role? Enrico, you go first. I go first. Okay. So um, basically, uh, we are both uh, co founder That's how our, we present uh, ourselves. But uh, clearly, uh, uh, Alessandro is, uh, uh, is um, uh, the technical uh, mind behind uh, everything. And uh, I am the, uh, the uh, humble uh, operational arm, I would say. No, I'm a sort uh-huh. of uh, uh, CEO, CEO, CEO operation, operation, overseeing operations, let's say. And uh, we, co- we jointly take care of marketing, which uh, in this industry is a bitch, to be honest, is difficult really to uh, sorry for the language I'm not sure I, I can use this those words but it's a it's a, it's, a, it. a it's it's a difficult it's a difficult uh, it's a difficult uh, market um, where uh, where to be a marketer let's say because uh, to be honest the audiences are very difficult and we we had a lot of uh, uh, problem in um, in making our solution known of course because the solution is there it's good we have a good mar- feedback from the users but getting getting uh, known is difficult that's why we love to discuss in first person with uh, with people like you guys uh, i know you guys are both italians that are living yeah. in Switzerland, but how close are you guys to the Italian Bitcoin community and specifically the Bitcoin uh, Valley in Rovereto? That's for Alessandro. Yeah, so uh, if I have to be honest, I've never been in Rovereto, so I don't. Know, I know that there is like a like a huge community in there, but I'm not really into that uh, that kind of region in Italy. Uh, I, I'm I'm in close contact with the Giacomo Zucco, who is probably the most you know famous. Uh, uh, Italian Bitcoiner all over the world, and uh, he actually gave me like uh, we, we had like quite a lot of calls uh, while I was building BitKeep and kind of helped me out uh, trying to get him get me up to the right uh, you know path also in terms of communication in terms of, in terms of messages that we wanted to, to kind of transmit to the users and uh, yeah I mean uh, we are there is like a huge Telegram group uh, with a lot of Bitcoiners in Italy we are always hanging in there and it's quite. Uh, like a vibrant, uh, I would say, uh, community in Italy about yes. this one. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess, has anyone got any more questions? Or Because I say, if not, we're come, we've come to sort of goodish time anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I think I'm good with questions. We I've asked at lunch. <laughs> yeah, I so say we have basically grilled Enrico for the last sort of uh, 40 minutes. I'm least, there so. for this reason. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that's no cool. problem. <laughs> What's well, the, re- the real reason yeah. why Alessandro showed up at the end. <laughs> yeah, he avoided, he avoided all that. Got the nice, the nicer questions. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been awesome to have both of you on. We really appreciate it. And uh, is there anything you want to like sort of say or, or plug before we head out? No, I mean just a very very big thank you. I mean uh, for us to be able to speak about our passion and our product is uh, is just uh, the best thing that can happen. So just a very very big thank you to to you for taking the time and for having us. Uh, my last question was, is it yes. available on iOS or only Android? Uh, both, yes. I, iOS and uh, Android at the moment. Um, yeah, what can users expect from BTP in the next you know, six, seven, eight months? What's, what's next for you guys? What's, what's, on the, what's next on the rollout? You want to take it, Sandra? Yeah. Otherwise, I can. Uh, yeah, yeah sure, it. sure. 
Yeah, so basically now we're working on a referral program to kind of incentivize a little bit the uh, adoption. So basically you get like, uh, we will probably need to raise a little bit the fees, uh, but we will also give an incentive to people to kind of share, you know, like a referral code and get a discount on fees and also get like a cashback uh, in, in Satoshi if you basically introduce new people. So that's uh, basically what we are currently working on. And I think we will be ready like with a better release. We have like a, like a close, Telegram group with like uh, I think like forty or fifty people, always happy to test our our new versions of the application. So I think in a couple of weeks we will release this, and probably in a month or a month and a half we will ship the new version to the stores. And uh, so we think and we hope that this will probably we at least you know drive a little bit more the adoption of the application. Yeah, and also expand a little bit uh, uh, also across Europe, because I think the majority of our users now, they are coming from Italy, because of course, I mean, we are Italian, so we are kind of a little bit more into the Italian community, but the application is available available pretty much everywhere in Europe. So we really hope yeah. to get some new people from yeah. the outside. And yes, so big uh, big next thing, uh, referral program, in uh, absolutely, yeah. in, the, in the time horizon that you have described. Jerry. All right, well, um... Cheers. That's actually a pretty good way to go out. Tell people, you know, the plans for the for the future. Yes. I like the question, Jerry. Um, well, yeah, thanks guys for coming on. It's been appreciated. And, and thanks, um, thanks for joining us. Thank you everyone for listening. Uh, I hope that everyone who's listening has got a good understanding now of Bitkipi. And if you're in Europe, go ahead and try it out uh, if you can. And uh, have an awesome day, week, month, year. Take <laughs> care. Keep loving life. Uh, goodbye from all of us. And keep buying Bitcoin. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.